Hey, what is happening, everybody? Thank you for joining us. Tonight we're doing the uh, first of a kind here. We're doing a uh, set break. Don't normally do these, but decided to take a shot at doing one uh, for the first time and uh, figure what can we what can go wrong. We're doing 95 Bowman. We ripped these a bunch in the past, and um, we had some... Pretty decent pulls. I feel like we pulled Vladdy Guerrero the last one. We pulled Andrew Jones. We didn't see all the rookies, but we saw most of them. So I wanted to try to do this set break, see how it goes. And we sold these in 10 spots. And I'm going to do them in order of the spots that people bought with shuffling these packs up. I just noticed that now. <laughs> it's really throwing me off. I ran out of dividers and I couldn't see it originally, but now I can see it like in the freaking light. I guess it's not so bad when it's laying down, but <laughs> I'm not trying to fix this or anything, but yeah, it's pretty apparent right there. So I figure what we would do is we would shuffle all these packs up. Already chaos. Never fails. I only had nine of these dividers, and then I had to go ahead and take one out of my rookie box. <laughs> so we'll push up to the side for later. Maybe we'll say that one for last. I don't even know which one it is. So Jason E is up first. I figured this would be the easiest way to do this. Um, try to kind of shuffle these bricks of gold around. And I took the liberty of inserting random uh, prize or prizes inside of two of these packages. Nothing too crazy, but I don't know, just to make it a little more interesting. There are two random prizes inserted in these packs. Ripping for Ripkins. Corey, I'm glad you're able to make it. John Fishman and Scott and everybody else. Thanks for being here, you guys. I don't know how many more of these exclusive videos I'll do, but uh, I figured it'd be fun to try one out. It's been a little while. So let's get uh, random here. And Jason E., you're up first. Each pack has around 44 cards. I tried to divide the rookies and stars up evenly. Joe B., what's up, man? So, the very first pack up, obviously we're looking for Vladdy Guerrero Senior Rookie Card, and there's several other ones too as well, Andrew Jones, Scott Rowland, but um, Jason E. is in the hot seat. John Fishman says the extra cards of the poop stain once. <laughs> David Cohn on top, and I can't remember who's in these packs. There's no penny sleeves. I didn't want any indicators that I would give away what pack was what. So, pack number one, Tom Glavin. Our first Hall of Famer in the very first pack here. Chris Truby. I, I like these foil cards a lot. There's a good bit of those subset foil cards in this set. Tom Pagnozzi. Mark R. You can share it. That's fine, man. Eric Karos. Reggie Sanders. I obviously put the better cards, or the best cards of the pack in the back. Mark Newfield. Was a big prospect back in 91. Appreciate you being here, Mark R. Travis Fryman. Rick Heisman. There's a lot of prospects in here that didn't pan out. Kyle Ripken is a nice one, though. Jason E. got Ripken. Jason E.'s a Mark Grace collector. I don't know if Mark Grace had a card in this set. I feel like he should have, but maybe not. Carlos Perez, Jay Cranford, Lenny Dykstra. Clemens, another one. Dalton, Jorge Posada, second-year card. Scott Alerton, Juan Acevedo, and you got the Scott Rowland. Very first pack. Okay, good night, everybody. <laughs> One of the best cards. Scott Rowland, the story that I've told about this card many times, I bought this off of Eric back in 95 for 75 cents. And like a month later in Beckett, it was at 75 bucks. And man, was he pissed. And uh, before I started collecting again, I gave it back to him probably like, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, something like that. Gave it back to him in a Christmas card. And I kind of wish I wouldn't have because I, I still don't have it for my rookie PC. Mark Thompson, but Scott rolling in the first pack. That is pretty nice. Jason E., you got one of the key rookies in the very first one, man. So congrats on that. Put that one off to the side and go on to Mark. Actually, this is this one's Mark R. He has two spots. He bought a spot for his buddy. Feel free to chime in on the chat if you can. It's very, very dead crowd in here tonight. So I, I don't know which pack that 2018 one is anymore because I can't see it when it's laying down. 
But just for good measure, let's shuffle these all up. I don't want anyone screaming foul play. I used to be a card dealer, if you can't tell already. I'm just kidding. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, Mark R., you're up next. Let's go ahead and choose the left. See what the left brings us. Good luck to you, man. Oh, that's all right, Mark. I didn't even know I had it turned on. You are up next. And Mark R. actually bought a spot for his buddy, too. Oh, I actually have two in there. Eli Marrero. I feel like I kind of remember who is in this pack based off of him. That's the thing that sucks about doing these set breaks is that obviously I put them together. So <laughs> I can kind of remember who is in here. Cal Eldred, Eli Marrero, Brian Taylor, who was all the craze in 92, Jason Ischringhaus, and that's actually his second year. Chris Hoyles, Shannon Stewart, he has a decent career. Bip Roberts, Craig Biggio, and look how lazy I got here. I didn't even separate these cards. Dwayne Singleton, Latroy Hawkins, Tim Unroe. I don't know if he even did anything. Mark R says, Joe Ford is a newbie. Hopefully he figures out how to get in here. You know, when I, I, I posted the link. Normally, I just post, like, the video or whatever, and you just click on it. But I know that people can't watch – or people can't chat in the stream whenever that happens when they click on the link. So that's why I posted the link this time. Carlos Bayerga, Paul Wilson, Joe Forward, welcome, man. Appreciate you being here. Calvin Maduro, Travis Miller, Hidalgo, second year, if anyone cares. Andy Larkin, John Carter. We have an Aaron Boone foil. Pat Watkins, Orlando Miller, Jay Buner. There's a Tim Raines, Jack McDowell. John Hudak, second year, one of the bad omens here. Andrew Lorraine, Ken Hill, Ray Lankford, Bill Swift, Pendleton, and look at that. Mark R., you got the Vladdy Guerrero senior rookie card. And this one looks pretty freaking nice, man. And Brian Sakinski in the second pack. All right, for real, everybody go home now. Everyone can stop watching. The Scott Rowland and Vladdy Guerrero back to back. First two packs. Congrats, Mark R. That is the uh, the best card we are looking for. And uh, that is pretty nice, man. Hopefully, you didn't have that one already, but you got the Vladdy Guerrero senior rookie. And this one is pretty decent as far as centering and the corners go and everything else. It's one of my favorite sets. I love 95 Bowman. There are a lot of guys that just didn't pan out, didn't make the majors, never got called up. But um, there's some nice rookie cards, and that is one of them. Congrats, Mark R. You got the Vladdy. I guess that really kind of kills the vibe for other people in the break. But there are still rookies in here. And there's also, like I said, there's random prizes that I put in to tickle your fancy. That sounded dirty. I uh, I take that back. <laughs> Let me put these in the team bag, back into the team bag, and we will continue on. Mark R., congrats. You got the Vladdy. I love that card. Scott Rowland and Vladdy in the first two freaking packs. Well, I shuffled them up pretty good, I guess. You got a hit, Mark. You definitely got a hit. I get You were definitely due, man. All right. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, we'll go with this one, I guess. And next one, Joe Forward. Joe Forward up next. Thank you for being here, man. I appreciate it. Let, uh, let's see what we got. This is my first time doing a set break, so take it easy on me. But uh, we are doing Bum and Tiffany next week for Turn Back the Clock Tuesday. Alan Bennis is our foil card. Ricky Vitalico, Edgar Martinez, Mike Hubbard, Bobby Bow, Palmero, Giambi. There's Russ Davis. That's a freaking tongue twister. Jimmy Haynes, Greg Maddox is a nice one. Greg Jeffries, Eric Knowles. I don't remember him at all. Kim Ashworth, Billy Ashley, Rick Hollifield. Mike Piazza is a nice one, too. I like that card. Centering on a lot of these is really nice, too. Jason Bates, Bobby Higginson, Jose Rio, Damian Moss. Chad Curtis, Frank Thomas, another nice one there. Juan Mello, I don't really remember him. Billy Wagner, it's a second year Wagner. Checklist card, 
Hugo Pavara, Pavaral. I don't remember him at all either. Freddie Garcia, Billy Pulsifer, and you got the Bobby Abreu rookie card. So another one we were looking for. This one's pretty nicely centered as well. That was the rookie for that pack. Bobby Abreu, Greg Maddox, Piazza, Frank Thomas. Not too shabby at all for that pack. Joe Ford, welcome. Appreciate you being here, like I said before. It's good to have you on board. like that Abreu a lot. I just bought that one from my collection not too long ago. And that takes us on to pack number four. <laughs> All the hits right away. There's only a few packs that don't have rookies. And I tried to, like, I don't know, mesh it up a little bit so the packs that didn't have rookies had, like, an instant winner of some kind. So just to try to make it even. Joker68, you're up next, man. I don't know if uh, Kurt's in here or not, but uh, he has two spots in this break. Let's do this one. Kurt, good luck, man. Freaking sticky bag. On your first spot, Scott Gentile is our leadoff guy. Steve Gibraltar. Steve Schrank. Shane Andrews. Pudge Rodriguez. One's a little off-center. Jane Bluma. Knobloch. Sheffield. Chuck Carr. I mean, I was obsessed with Chuck Carr back in, like, 93. <laughs> I don't really know why. Todd Zeal. Another lazy job on my behalf here. Three foil cards put together. I tried to move this around a little bit, and I didn't do so well there. Steve Traxel. Eddie Murray. That's an interesting photo of him. Carl Everett. Steinbach. Kirk Presley. Joiner. Pete Harnish. There's Mo Vaughn. Dustin Hermanson. Ramon Morel. I don't remember him either. And it looks like we have some sort of prize winner in here. Eric, this another name I don't remember either. Eric Stukenschneider. I don't think that could be any more German. Eric Stukenschneider, which I don't think any of us remember him either. Sean Senor. Let's save that for later. We have some sort of winner there. Luke Collier, or Collier, however it was pronounced. Manny Ramirez. Mark Barcelo. James Baldwin. Donnie Baseball. Tommy Davis, Terrell Wade, Jeff Supon, a second-year card for him. He had a rookie in 94, Bowman. Mike Stanley, Langston, Hideo Nomo rookie card. Another rookie in the fourth pack. <laughs> I guess there's a good bit of rookies in here. There's probably like three or four packs that don't have rookie cards in it, maybe even five. But uh, Hideo Nomo rookie, man, this card was so hot back in 95. This is probably like, I don't know, at least 50 bucks back then. Man, I wanted this card so bad at the card shop, and it was, like I said, at least 50 bucks, maybe even more. This one's a little bit off top to bottom, but um, still a sweet one to have for a PC. Bill Van Landingham, Scott Ruffcorn, and our instant winner. You win 92 score rookie traded. I think Joker will like that set. I picked up a couple of these at uh, a, from a vendor like in Ohio a few months ago. This was a set that I wanted for a long time because there's a few rookies in here I didn't have and I couldn't track down and I could never ever come across this. I feel like they only made a certain amount of these even though it's Junk Wax era. Uh, this has Jeff Kent rookie and Tim Wakefield rookie card and also Tim Salmon second year in here. Uh, 110 card set, but like I said, I never ever come across these. In all the years of my collecting, I've never seen this set until like two months ago in person. So... That is going to Joker 68. Um, you got it, man. Kind of a cool prize there. And like I said, I think he'll like that. Not the crazy valuable prize or anything, but still a nice one nonetheless. Especially if you're a rookie collector like myself, because those two can be kind of tough to track down. And you got the Hideo Nomo rookie card on top of that. So I would say that's not too bad at all. On to number five. Joker 68 got 5-2. So he's back to back. I don't know if I will upload this video to YouTube or not at some point. I'm not sure. But um, just a heads up. I'm probably going to post the Tiffany tomorrow night around 8 o'clock, I think, just because there's 16 spots. So I don't know. Sometimes when I have breaks that have a lot of spots, they like like I've had breaks that literally took days to sell out, and it got to the point where people on eBay, random people on eBay, were buying spots, 
and thinking that they're buying the whole box for like dirt cheap. That happened with a, I think that happened with the finest break recently. There was like two random guys that came across the listing on eBay and bought spots and they didn't realize that they were actually spots in a break. They didn't even know what a break was. I had to message them and be like, hey, you know, you didn't buy the box, right? You bought a spot in the box that'll be ripped on YouTube. And they're like, what? Because I forget how much the spots were, but if you go on eBay and type in 96 finest or whatever, and you see a box, a picture of a box for 25 bucks, you'd be like, well, I'm buying that. <laughs> that's that's super cheap, and that's what people did. So sometimes they sell really quickly, but I try to always post them on like Friday or Saturday. If they're a bigger break on Friday night, most of the time it's on Saturday or Sunday, around 8 o'clock. Joker 68, number 5, enough rambling out of me. Let's... uh. Wish you luck here. Sal Fasano is our leadoff guy. <laughs> Scott says people on eBay not always the smartest. Yeah, that's definitely the truth. And then they get, like, that's why I like when they sell quick because then I don't have those random scragglers that are, like, discovering the listing. There's no way to make a private listing on eBay. Like, usually when I think when you post a listing on there, it's, like, not live for, like, you can't be searched for, like, a half hour, I think, or something around there. So, but once that time period is up, then random people can start coming across your listing. And then, uh, yeah, and then you run into some issues. There's Roberto Alomar in a very suggestive pose. Scott said, I have to be careful and read the comments. I see so many people selling empty boxes. I've almost got caught doing that before, too. Enrique Wilson, especially with older ones. Yeah, I've definitely done that. I mean, older boxes, I mean, even like 83, an 83 tops box, an empty box is like 30 bucks. 30 or 40 bucks is crazy. Jose Lima, second year card. Everett Stoll. Musina. Aaron Seeley, one of my personal favorites back then. Jason Kendall. Jeff Bagwell is a nice one. Chris Snopek. Ray Brown. Mac Suzuki and Jason Schmidt. Mean mug on there. His uh the only rookie card that he has is 94 tops traded. I actually just bought it as a single off eBay. I think I got it for like two bucks. Uh, like, I don't know, six months ago or something. It was one that I never, ever come across in the wild. There's Paul Canerco. That's a second-year card for him, too. It's one of the uh, better foil subset cards you can find in here. Another uh, nice name. Canerco definitely had a good career. Keith Williams, Brett Butler, Jimmy Key, Paul Shuey, Barry Bonds is a nice name there. Brad Woodall. I haven't heard that name in a long time. Derek Lee. Ben Mack, Kenny Lofton. Usually, like, the rookies are the best cards on the very back of the stack. And uh, th by this time, I've completely forgot who is where. Tim Salmon. It looks like we got Chris Carpenter rookie card in this one. A Carpenter rookie in pretty nice shape and pretty decent centering, too. One of the uh, more valuable cards in this set. Probably, like, top four, I'd say. Chris Carpenter, rookie with the Blue Jays, and Trey Beeman, foil card, ends that one out. Nice Carpenter rookie, though. I like that one. There was also another Chris Carpenter, a pitcher that was, uh, his rookie was actually 89. 89 uh, tops and Don Russ. Not the same guy. So we end that pack out for Joker 68. You got the Nomo rookie and the Carpenter and the freaking 92 score traded set, so not too shabby. And we have... Lewis Moreno up next. I don't think Lewis is in here. I doubt it. I don't think there's really anybody in here. <laughs> to tell you the truth. A uh, handful of people, I guess. Scott A says, I received the Boggs rookie. Thanks again. Well, you're welcome, man. I'm glad that it arrived safe. Thank you for, uh, for being here with us, man. Lewis M., we will do this one next. Good luck to you. We still have, who else is left as far as rookies go? Andrew Jones is still out there. Bartolo Colon is still out there. Uh, the Jeter Foil is still out there. Um, those are the big ones. Alex Ochoa Foil. If you like doing set breaks, let me know. I, I, I'm not opposed to doing more of them. I'd like to do boxes that are very difficult. Like I... I'm, I, I got my eye on 95 Bowman's Best, which is a set that I never had packs of. If you can even find a box of those, like I think there's one or two boxes listed on eBay right now for Bowman's Best from this year, and it's they're like $2,000.
Dave Winfield, they're very hard to come across, and they're very expensive because of the possible Vladdy Guerrero refractor. PSA 10 is like over 1000 bucks. Dave Justice, so I don't understand how that really justifies <laughs> selling a, a box being 2000 if the if the top card is like 1000 bucks. PSA 10 doesn't make sense, to me at least. There's Crime Dog, Damian Jackson, Rod Beck, John Ambrose, Garrett Anderson. Cool shot of him. Jimmy Hurst. Scott says, I'm bidding on three finest boxes and now ends in 40 minutes. Nice. What years are those? There's Sosa. That's a nice one. Todd Dunn. Darren Lewis. And another hot card back in this era. Ray Ordonez rookie card. I definitely probably had that in a screw-down case back in 95. That was a good one. Worth a few bucks. Tony Clark. Tony Gwynn. 294, 198, nice. 94 is one I've never ripped. I don't think I've ever ripped 98 either. Chris Widger, Ryan Nye, Rod Henderson, Steve Rodriguez, Jeff Abbott, Tate Seafried. I actually pulled his autograph, like a T206 card out of a Fairfield box. And I like honestly did not know who it was because I don't remember. <laughs> I didn't remember him at all. Uh, look at that. Luis Moreno, you got the Jeter. Very nice. Very nice, and this one it looks pretty good too, as you can see. Maybe a little bit off, eh, maybe a little bit off top to bottom. I don't know. My, I got a terrible eye for stuff like that. But uh, first glance, it looks pretty freaking good. Jeter, third year card, but uh, subset foil card. Very, very beautiful. I like that one a lot. Lewis M, wherever you are, congrats, man. That is a nice looking card. So we have four packs left. Four spots left. And what? Andrew Jones is still lurking out there. Bartolo Colon. We have one more random weird prize. That I think is better than the first one. I think so at least. We got Ray P up next. The final four. We'll do this one. Jermaine Dye on the back. And Don Wengert on the front. Todd Hollinsworth. Mendy Lopez. Randy Johnson, the big unit. Brian Ricard. Rondell White. Troy Percival. His rookie card is actually 92 bum. And Benji Gill. Looking like the <laughs> Terminator there. Albert Bell. Jose Canseco. Paul O'Neill. There's Pokey Reese. Made kind of a big name for himself back in around 92. Brian Stevenson, Ron Valone, Alex Fernandez. I was all hyped on him in like 91. Bob Hamlin was a huge prospect in 1990. Raul Casanova, Ugeth Urbina, Gus Ganderillas. Yeah, there's Mark McGuire. His mullet flapping in the wind. You got to love that shot of him. That's a cool one. Chris Cumberland, Sid Robertson. Jeff D'Amico, or as we used to call him, Jeff D'Amico, <laughs> after the gas station. Steve Avery, Doug Glanville. I have no idea who's coming up in this pack. Rick Aguilera, Larry Sutton, Pedro J. Martinez is a nice one there. Dwayne Hosey, Cecil Fielder, Robert Person, Fausto Macy, Nunez, Klesko, Greg Vaughn, Robin Ventura, Chipper Jones foil is the hit in that pack. Ray P. I don't know if you're in here or not, but uh, I always liked that card a lot. I never owned it, but that was one I always wanted. Chipper Jones foil. Some people consider 95 cards his rookie, but uh, his true genuine rookies are 91. Jose Herrera and Jermaine Dye. Chipper Jones is a nice one, though. I like that one. And there's some other stars in that pack, too, that were pretty nice as well. That one is in the books for Ray P. I don't know if he's in here or not, but that leaves us with the final three. And Jordan P. is up next. We will shuffle them up again. Luckily, I can't see that freaking year anymore. We'll do the middle again. Derek Gibson on the back. Brian Barber. Mark Grudzalonic in that crazy fro. If you want to get yourself a box of these, they're, they seem to be around 150 bucks now. They kind of spiked up, and then they kind of stayed still. Jordan P., what's up, man? Thanks for being here. And see you pop in here, unless you just did. There's Eckersley. Atlanta the Shields, Tartable, 
Ricky Otero. There's Matt Williams. Lieberthal. Olerud Cordova. Sean Estes. I was all about him, too, at one point in the 90s. John Lieber. There is Juan Gonzalez. Amari Telemaco. Ray Durham. Puckett. Torrey Hunter. Second year car to him. Yeah, I always like the design. If you buy a box of these, you got to be careful, though. There's Jeff Kent. Probably a future Hall of Famer. Possibly, at least. Wade Boggs. Mark Loretta, his rookie is 94 Bowman. Johnny Damon, foil subset car. We have another winner in here. Jordan P., you are the second winner. Ozzie Smith, Jim Brower. Let's save that for the end of the pack. Cliff Floyd, Craig Matson, Clay Carruthers, Ruben Rivera. This car was really hot back in 95. I remember having this and was like really stoked about it. Mark Witten, and you also got the Bartolo Colon rookie card. Another one of the rookies we were chasing after in here. He had a very long career back before he put on a lot of weight. Bartolo Colon rookie, pretty nice shape on that one. Homer Bush, Derek Gibson, and it looks like you won something. And my generic index card in vain in the vein of the Raleigh Fingers Yak Pack. You won a Manny Ramirez 92 Bowman, and not just any Manny Ramirez 92 Bowman. This one is a BGS 9. So this is coming to you, man. This is actually, I bought this card at a toy convention like four or five years ago. It was right when I started buying rookie cards, and I'm like, I never had that Manny Ramirez. I want that card, and... I don't really collect slabbed cards, so it doesn't really have a place in my rookie collection. But uh, <laughs> Mark Ars is so ghetto and cringeworthy, my index cards. You got the Manny Ramirez BGS 9 coming to you, man. And you also got the Bartolo Colon rookie cards. That's pretty cool, man. Put that back in the team bag. And taking us to... Uh, the last two packs here. I'm, I'm going to try to ship. I don't know. These will all go out probably Saturday at the latest. But I'll try to ship some of them tomorrow. Kid Wonder Cards is up next. I don't know if he's in here or not. The final two. Who is it going to be? I don't know. We'll do this one. There is the dreaded date that I was trying to hide the entire time. It actually worked pretty well. I couldn't see it at all while they were laying down. I have no idea who's in this one. Craig Wilson, Mickey Tennelton, brother of Allen, Andy Bennis, Brian L. Hunter, as he used to go by. Deion Sanders, Justin Thompson, Kevin Brown. Whoa, that is pretty crazy. <laughs> I swear I didn't do that on purpose. Kevin Brown, the catcher, and Kevin Brown, the pitcher. Very weird how that worked out. 405 and 32. Huh, interesting. Andres Galarraga, Will Clark, Mike Hampton, John Wetland, Dean Palmer, Karim Garcia, another huge, huge card back in 95. I pulled like two of those out of a pack, and, or out of two packs, and was stoked. Sean Green, full card that looks pretty bad, top to bottom. Willie Adams, where is he at? Where's that field at? Mike Bell, and no more Garcia Para, full card. This is another hot one back then, too. I still like this card a lot. No more prospect foil card. Mark Ferris, Rich Day, Chris Wimmer, Ken Griffey Jr., nice. Griffey Jr., very, very nice. Kid Wonder, I feel like everyone PC is Griffey. If you see his cards, I feel like you definitely keep them in. And, of course, two full cards back-to-back. -back. Jeff Conine, J.R. Phillips, Decomba Connor. I don't know if anyone remembers him or not. I don't. Matt Drews, Angel Martinez, Dre Beck. Looking real haggard. Lee Smith. Ray McDavid. Mariano Rivera. Very nice. Mo Rivera. So I tried to stack this one up with stars. Griffey Rivera. Who else do we get in this pack? No more. Foil card. And there's at least another one on Hall of Famer in here. Mo Rivera. Another nice one. Probably one of the better base cards of this set. Julian Tavares and Joey Hamilton ends that pack. 
And it takes us to Philip S. And I think we all know already what's in this final pack. Unless you haven't been here the entire time, then you wouldn't know. But uh, I think everyone in here is waiting on a certain rookie card that hopefully is in here. <laughs> I would hope so, at least. The last pack of tonight's rip. Thanks again for being here, guys. Kelby Overis, Esteban Loaza is currently incarcerated for a long time. Brooks, foil card, Jason Bure. Mark R says, Joe, so you want John to send your cards to my house to sh save shipping costs for John? I can. Let me know. Shoot me a message on Patreon or on, you know, on here and, um, let me know what you'd like to do, and I can definitely do that for you. I appreciate that. Larry Walker, Raul Mondesi. Most of the time, I ship cards in 300-count boxes. Something like this, though. I usually put them in a uh, lunch bag and um, I ship them in a bubble mailer. Paul Molitor, Micah Franklin, Terry Bradshaw. Freaking identity theft on that one. Scott Sullivan, Will Cordero, Henderson. It's a nice one. Matt Raleigh, Ben Grieve. Joe's card crow would cringe at that. Mark R says he's in the middle of moving. Yeah, that's fine, man. Trot Nixon, Bill Selby. I can definitely send those uh, over to you. Donnie Sadler, Marquise Grissom, Rick Gorecki. That creepy looking card of him. Jay Payton. Another name I was stoked on back then. Larkin, Carter, Montgomery, Todd Green, Brian McRae, Antonio Osuna. All these names I have not said in many, many years. And look at that. Andy Pettit, foil card. That's a cool-looking shot of him. I love these foil cards. If you buy boxes, you can find gold versions of these or gold parallels. I think we pulled the Nomo. I don't know if it was a Nomo gold or Chipper Jones gold or what it was, but we pulled one of those out of a box whenever we ripped a hobby box of these like a while ago. I can't remember, but nice Pettit. Pettit's rookie is 93 Bowman. Another checklist and the last rookie we haven't seen yet, not Edgar Renteria, that's a second-year card, but Andrew Jones. Uh, this this card was one I wanted so bad back in, like, the mid-'90s. And to tell you the truth, I don't remember if I ever actually had it, but it was, it was worth a decent amount, at least as a kid. In 95, I was, like, 11 years old, so... I didn't have 50 bucks, wherever this was once valued at and sold at. This one's a little off center, but um, definitely a nice card to have in your PC. Philip S., you got the Jones rookie card. Love that one. Pretty iconic card of the 90s. Bob Wolcott and Tom Evans ends out the last pack of the break. If you enjoyed the set break, let me know. And, uh, you know, I'd definitely like to hear your feedback on it. If you'd rather see me rip packs of boxes. You know, we could definitely do that, too, and switch it up here and there. I just, uh, like I said, some of these boxes are so expensive, and they're so hard to find now that the next best thing might just be ripping the uh, the sets. There's a lot more affordable, and you are guaranteed to get the cards that you're after. Like 94 SP, those boxes are like 800 bucks now. It's crazy. So, But you can buy a set for like 60 or 70, and you get all the cards. So... Uh, like I said, 95 Bowman's Best is one I have my eye on. I don't want to do it so soon since we just saw all of those rookies tonight. But, um, you know, definitely one I'm thinking about in the future. And also, of course, Bowman Tiffany is on the menu for next Tuesday. And there will be 16 spots. Uh, I forget how many cards are in this set. I can't remember off the top of my head. Like 420? Uh, no, nah, I think it's more than that. Um but these boxes are pretty expensive, so I'm not entirely sure what the buy-in is going to be yet. Uh, but, yeah, this will be on sale come Tuesday, six, or, or come tomorrow night. 16 spots. I'm going to try to set it up. I think I'm going to put it on eBay just because eBay is so much easier for me to keep track of addresses. And it's so much less time-consuming to just click a button and hit print rather than go in and edit addresses and everything else. Um, so... I'll list those tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. If you um, are having a hard time getting in the breaks, maybe go to and follow me on eBay. Follow the passes alive. There are underscores between the words. You might be able to get a little bit of a heads up 
on the brake. So that's what I would recommend doing. Um, so yeah, that is that. But that is on the menu for next Tuesday. And that's really all I have for you guys. I appreciate you all being here. Like I said, let me know down in the comments if you enjoy the set break. You want to see more of these, and I would gladly keep them coming with different sets. Maybe we'll even go back into like the 60s and 70s in the future. Louis Moreno is now in here. We went through your stack, and I forget who you had. <laughs> but you definitely had, I think you had the, the Jeter foil card in your stack, which is pretty sick. That's all I got for you guys tonight. Um, keep an eye out for that on Patreon tomorrow. It'll be posted around 8 p.m. And um, the monthly giveaway will probably be coming up in about a week or so. So uh, have a great night, everybody. I hope to talk to you all soon. See you later.